the clause as to heme inequality is a way of expressing the second law of thermodynamics that is used in continuum mechanics. This inequality is particularly useful in determining whether the constitutive relation of a material is thermodynamically allowable. This inequality is a statement concerning the irreversibility of natural processes, especially when energy dissipation is involved. It was named after the German physicist Rudolf Clauses and French physicist Pierre Duhem. Clauses Duhem inequality in terms of the specific entropy. The clause as to heme inequality can be expressed in integral form as in this equation is the time, represents a body and the integration is over the volume of the body, represents the surface of the body, is the mass density of the body, is the specific entropy, is the normal velocity of, is the velocity of particles inside, is the unit normal to the surface is the heat flux vector, is an energy source per unit mass, and is the absolute temperature. All the variables are functions of immaterial point at a time. In differential form the clause as to heme inequality can be written as where is the time derivative of and is the divergence of the vector. Clause as to heme inequality in terms of specific internal energy. The inequality can be expressed in terms of the internal energy as where is the time derivative of the specific internal energy, is the Cauchy stress, and is the gradient of the velocity. This inequality incorporates the balance of energy and the balance of linear and angular momentum into the expression for the clause as to heme. Inequality Dissipation the quantity is called the dissipation which is defined as the rate of internal entropy production per unit volume times the absolute temperature. Hence the clause as to heme inequality is also called the dissipation inequality. In a real material, the dissipation is always greater than zero.